Yeah. And just like learning what your character can do is different. Because like Fox is really similar, but like his combo tree is like different to the point where it can like mess me up and like I'll get I'll get hit out of combos and stuff. And yeah. Takes ow ow. Or it's taking the time to learn here. I mean, there's a lot of match matchups in Smash 4 that I I uh, used to love that I hate in this game. Mm -hmm. For example, like Ness is way harder. Whereas in this game, there are matchups like Donkey Kong and Ike, which I used to hate, but I like them all significantly yeah, yeah, yeah. like more. So this game is something insane, and we're gonna see some new Olimar and some new Bayonetta right now. Yeah, for sure. I don't even know what matchups I love and I I hate right now. I like a lot of characters are just so unfamiliar to me. Something we used to see in Smash 4, and I'm sure it still works in this game. Is if you throw the pick then on Bayonetta, she can just walk up in Witch Time. Yeah, right. But uh, I think Witch Time works a little bit different in this game. Yeah, it definitely got nerfed. Yeah, so you can't really, you know, do and that. I think it scales to damage uh, the move, if I'm... Maybe I'm wrong. But. Yeah, so instead of, like, getting, like, your uh, typical up tilt into you down sma or up smash... Yeah. Yeah, you, you just With gotta go straight for the... Yeah. You, you still gotta go for, like, the up smash, I think, You're, just right away. Yeah. You can't get for, like, up tilt, up smash into, like, three taunts anymore. But I actually like this that the the Bayos are coming back. They're uh, yeah for sure. Walrus is playing Bayo, mm -hmm. and a mistake, mistake. going yeah. in. I think Lima got second at the last Texas Weekly with Bayo, so the Bayos are still coming to play. And uh, like I've definitely, this is probably one of the characters I've heard the most like mixed things about because I've definitely heard some people say like, oh this character's still good, like she still has some things, and I've seen some like Twitter combos and stuff like that. But I don't know, I haven't watched much actual Bayo. But I'm, I'm loving seeing Green Beast on, on screen right now. It's like, uh, this is his first ultimate event, I'm sure. Unless yeah, he's like hiding some secret in brackets that he's like farming or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't know what I've been working on. Uh, he, he's been in the lab, he's been in the lair. Mm -hmm. With Shell, and I don't know if Hadley's still there. Yeah, we, 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 saw, we saw Shell last night at Raid. So we're seeing the next part of the yeah. lair right here right now. Yeah, we saw Shell at Second City Smash too. I think those are the two tournaments he's been to. Have we seen Hadley? I don't think so. I don't even know if he's still around, but I just know he was he was with them. Mm. Either way, Green Beast. Oh, wow. Yeah, that had range. Wow. wow. Interesting. Interesting. I guess uh, oh. Witch Time has some more range now. <laughs> Damn, he could have definitely like capitalized off that with like a back air or something. That's, huh. Or even a down air. Yeah, no, he... I don't know, Fade was probably a little, like, just as confused as we were there. Well, maybe not, because he did the witch time, but... Yeah, I haven't seen too much new Bayo gameplay, but she's still got some stuff. Yeah, I've definitely, I've just, I haven't seen actual, like, mistake gameplay or, like, Bayo gameplay or anything, but... I've seen some combos. <laughs> yeah, this is still pretty dead even right here, right now. Dreadful. <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, that was weird. <laughs> that was not a good trade for Fade. Not at all. And ooh, wow, that looks like a, a setup. So we got Green Beast right here, looking for this next stock right here. He's got a purple on deck, mm -hmm. so that'll definitely seal the stock of Bayonetta at eighty-two percent. But maybe it'll just do rack some more damage to red and yellow, mm -hmm. so it gets more safer kill options with the forward air combo actually linking into itself right there. Mm -hmm. and, and forward air basically only links into itself, as far as I know in this game. Like it, it doesn't really, because like in Smash Four, you'd see a lot of like fair one into like side B or like fair one into up B or something like that. But mm -hmm. it pretty much only reliably links into the, the fair one or fair two and three. Those are actually a really good roll on coming out from Green Beast, because uh, you know Fade was looking for the four throw kill. Mm -hmm. I think one of Bale's weaknesses in this game is that, like, she kind of struggles killing. Like, she really just has that, like, back throw. Uh, neutral air really does not kill well anymore. Up air does not kill as well anymore. It senses more of a, like, a diagonal angle rather than up. Um, she still does have forward throw, which is, like, it's good, but not as reliable. Yeah, I see mostly just Bale's uh, these uh, They kind of got a back air. Just, yeah, just back air. That's it. Yeah. Just looking for back air. And... I might see this sort of random smash come out. Yeah. And we saw from Olimar of all of the character choices here. But the, the red Pikmin is going to put him in a bad situation yes, right here. Yes, throw there. Recover high. Goes, Goes off, off stage. Wow, dodges everything in the world. That would not have... Yeah, Bayo with just one big hitbox out there. And somehow Green Beast managed to make his way back to the stage. Okay. Mm. Kind of dancing around each other in there. I actually don't know how I feel about this lineup. But he's the Olimar main. Yeah, he didn't have like a, a killing lineup right there. He had like a white in there. Yeah, he didn't have blue for no, the throw. Yeah, he didn't he... have a purple in there, didn't have a blue. Oh. Alright, get the side beat. Doesn't combo in anything though. 
least uh, not there. It's combo started right here. Oh no, Almar's helmet, damage. man. Almar's helmet's cracking. <laughs> Uh-oh. What if it was like DDD, where he's just like an instant shield break? <laughs> or like K-Roll? Well, that wouldn't be fair. Yeah, it's not DDD, K-Roll, yeah. right? Well, like, what if, uh... No, that wouldn't be fair at all, because you're just no, hitting him. And yeah, then... <laughs> right. At least K-Roll is like armoring through it. Yeah. Okay. Drops that combo there, but still getting the damage. Looking pretty good for Fade here. Ooh, gets that forward air, but that's not enough with the yellow. Do it, and he needs his purple or this yeah, blue right. right now. Ooh, got him attack, not getting punished. And not even taking another 50 minutes. All right, now he does it. And this is a very difficult situation. Now, Olimar, a very good character, racking up percent, but uh, Green Beast has kind of like kept his distance this entire game. Right. He has the F smash there into the grab. Quick 37. Yeah, but he, if he gets Witch time, he's gonna lose the game. Olimar's so. damage outputs is just kind of crazy in this game. And like his pressure, I feel like, is really good. At this point, just like I think which time is the main yeah, like, kill. He's him. already basically even it back up. Ooh, gets Ooh, the combo nice. started. That was really nice. Wow, he's chasing him. 122. Ooh, Ooh almost got that. Ooh. It almost it died for it. That he probably would have died. 100%. Oh, but this is a very scary yeah, game right here. Coming out. Yeah, we're trying to match out. Green's gonna recover high as he's been doing. And it's been six minutes, man. Oh, yeah, you're right. This could very well go to time, considering that Fail is she struggles a bit with killing. Absolutely. And if uh, Fade can just kind of like play patient, play around these smash attacks. Yeah, 50% is a lot of difference for 40 seconds. Yeah. And like, honestly. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Ooh, never mind. Uh, next one will do it though. But he's, it's, it's just lineup, man. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say with like, with Olimar, just like raw kill power, I feel like. This, if this goes to time, Fade definitely wins. If this ends, then Green Beast probably wins. Oh, something 20 I, seconds left, though. Yeah, something I learned in the end of Smash 4, too, is apparently uh, all of them are like, up here, just cycles your Pikmin. Huh, it's kind of cool. Didn't know that. So you, see, like, you ever see, like, Shoot Time or anyone, like, do, like, a short hop up there, they're just cycling through the Pikmin lineup. But yeah, we got seven. Six, five, five yeah. four. Wow, what's he doing? Going off stage, and looks like Fade is going to... Oh, he actually did oh, hit him. Wow, yeah, he did hit him. No way. He hit him. We saw the That's percent insane. rise. Yeah, yeah, wow. He flew oh, out there and oh, hit him, but... That game's gonna go to fade, despite that. Just half a second too late, wow. That's like a frame, did, did dude. Did the crowd out there? Yeah, that's a frame away. Yeah, we got the stream out in the main area there, and there's just tons of people here tonight. And this is just so. all best of three until finals, so... We're chilling oh, for a bit. you're right, you're right. Yeah, no semis specified, no top eight, mm. or top six specified, like it used to be. There's still a lot of bracket left, so we gotta <laughs> make this happen, but yeah, I'm not sure right. if Green Beast actually saw the clock, so that might have been the thing, mm -hmm. but... He yeah, definitely saw it at the end there, but... Mm -hmm. when we, once he heard the five, that's when he started waking up, I think. Yeah. Fade's gonna take that game one just barely. Sticking to Bayo, I think is uh, smart. He was looking really good, just was having str uh, trouble sealing those stocks. Which can be expected from Bale. So yeah, going into game two, running it right back to PS1. And yeah, this, again, this is like a bigger stage for sure. Which, uh, it's hard to say who it benefits, honestly, because like both these characters play so well with a lead. Mm -hmm. For sure. Because Bale, like, she can just kind of fly around. And like, her, her combos are good. Like, yeah, for sure. Played probably better with a lead in Smash 4 just because mm -hmm. Rage is a thing and her combos are more of a thing. And Olimar, on the other hand, just like really annoying, and damage output is like really good. So if you're if you're not safe versus Olimar, you, you definitely will get hit and hit hard. Yeah, I can definitely say for a fact that Green Beast has played way less hits than Fade has, mm -hmm. and just racked up the damage really fast. But we got a very little difference right now, one percent. One thing that uh, uh, Fade's been going for, which I do like, it just like he's been going for these like occasional smash attacks at ledge. Just like at, at like 70, like 80. But if he does get a kill at 70 or 80, that's like huge for Bayo. I really want to talk to Green Beast after the set too. I want to know about like his uh, choices in lineup. Mm. Yeah, I want. But he, there he gets with the blue throw right there. And this is actually a really good lead for Green Beast. Let's see if uh, what Faye can do to reset this lead. Yeah, has the white. He's gonna get that onto Bayo. Doing 5% for That's crazy. White Pikmin just did 20%. 27, that's he's fine still. At no, no time in the witch time there. And we saw it wasn't stale either, so... Ooh, that would've been barely a stock reset, right? Really nice for Fade. Right there, but... Yeah, Fade desperate to close the stock and close the deficit, because mm -hmm. Olimar with a stock lead is exactly what we're seeing. And goes out there, but not getting much off of it. Just a little extra damage. 
Oh, nice wait. And I like um, when, ooh, nice. When Green Beast has been grabbing Fade, he's been opting to throw him off stage, which I think is like really smart because although Bayo's recovery is really good, like he can't snap to ledge well at all. So if you can probably just like down smash that. But excellent back kills. air coming out from Fade. Mm -hmm. Gonna reset the stock count two to two. And now that, now, that it's a, now that it's a percent game, Bayonetta's really good at closing that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sealing the stock's the hard part. And like, yeah, as we saw, like, even game one, Bayo still does have some combos. So she can definitely rack up the damage. Ooh. Dabs. Man, this is quite a lead coming out for Green Beast. In Smash 4, this is an even game. <laughs> Come on. Before you get down tilted. And <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're right, though, if you remember uh, Shutan versus Salem yeah. at the 2GG Championship. Mm -hmm. But now this is a, a significant lead. Yeah, for sure. Like, this is going to be... I, I want to say it's impossible for Fade, but it's not, <laughs> not It's not impossible. This game is actually proving just yeah. how, how crazy comebacks can be. We see three-stock comebacks very frequently. Mm -hmm. I've already gotten three-stock comeback on. Oh. I've also been reverse Rio twice in this game already, so oh, it's been a bad. rough life. It, it feels bad, man. And that's, yeah, you can't, you can't really kill off that as well right now. Ooh, that DI in nice. is gonna punish him for that, yeah. Do not DI in on damage. that. Oh, and now we have Fade just clawing his way back into this game. If he takes a stock right now. Ooh, he was that was looking. a really good up smash attempt. Barely out of the range of it. Ooh, nice. And wow, that, yeah. with the forward air. Nice, nice. That was really good by Fade. Yeah, again, this is still like an even game. Yeah, for sure. There's such a big difference between like a lead, like a percent lead's big and all, but like having the stock lead is what's really like that's that's a real lead. And that and like Bayonetta is a character with two spike options in her down air and her down smash. So and yeah, Olimar is a character with an exploitable recovery too. No hitbox on that. Ooh. Just like that, the percent gap is closing very fast. He fell out of that uppy there, but that could have definitely been a combo. Getting the fares. Fade just kind of trying to seal this 2-0 right now. Nice. And even it right back up. Get the lead, actually. Look at that. Oh no, is that gonna make it back? Game. That was so anticlimactic. That was, anytime there's no sound, it's just, it's just the most painful. That's definitely a heartbreaker right there. But we're, I'm sure now we're not gonna see the end of him. I, I, I expect to see him in the Grands later on. In Grands later on. He's gonna run, run it all the way back. That's really early though, so he's, he's gotta run it pretty far back. Yeah, I wonder what seeds they were. Um, it's literally Moniker and Pooch. Nice. So we, it's the anonymous Moniker three versus Pooch coming up next. We get, Pooch one. Well, so we got uh, the Me Sword Fighter one three two two fan, and then we have Pooch uh, rocking the Zelda in this game a lot. I've also seen him play also Samus, Samus, and also there's one other character I saw him play, Lucina. Yeah, so Pooch, we're gonna see him just momentarily, but we hope you're enjoying the bracket so far. If you're just tuning in, this is Ignition number one sixty four. You can see the brackets at urt.challenge.com. I'm Rickles. I'm Snoofle. We're just telling you about yeah. us. Um, we're not signing off yet. We're not signing off, but we are. We like to talk about ourselves a little Follow bit. Follow me on Twitter, I guess. Just, you should. I mean, it's just make your life a little better. Yeah, the Chicago Smash scene, amazing. Right now, we got hundred man tournaments.